so I've been seeing lots of these cake looking things on Instagram and TikTok so I went on Shopee and got myself some materials to make something like that so we have the air dry sauce the air dry clay which is made to make the cream and then uh, it also comes with some piping tips of a few different sizes that we can use yes so i'm gonna be making um a cake looking jewelry box so first you get an empty container i'm using <laughs> the container for the cream from my eczema and then yes you clean it and then you apply heat to the stickers i'm using a hair dryer so the stickers are can be removed more easily yes this is an optional step but it definitely makes the process easier And then I went on and wiped bit clean with wet tissue again. So here's a rough sketch of my plan. And first of all, we're gonna paint the containers. I'm using acrylic paint and then you paint the first layer uh, using white paint so that you get a white base to work with and it'll be easier for you to paint the next layer. <laughs> what am I saying? So for the second layer, you're gonna paint over the white base using the color that you want. So I'm using white for the base of the container and pink for the cover of the container. After painting the second layer, you're gonna go over the same color for the third layer and then let it sit and dry. Now get some loom band from, I don't know, still from your siblings or something, and then just cut them up for DIY sprinkles. So after the paint has dried, um, you're gonna want to check if the cover can still fit to the base and then do not do this do not sand the surface i thought i would have to do it because i've seen people doing it for their resin products but no it just scratches the paint off so don't do it and now we're finally gonna be decorating the cake using the air dry clay also known as the simulation cream you're first first you're gonna want to practice on somewhere else. I'm practicing on the sticker from the container just for fun and actually you can peel it off after it dries and prepare the sprinkles on the side so you can put it on the cake before the clay dries. I'm actually quite bad at doing this so I suggest you watch some tutorials on how to do that uh, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be putting the sprinkles over the cream And then I place this like red colored bead on top to act like a strawberry or a cherry. And I add the more sprinkles because I thought it felt a bit empty. And then I went on and get the matcha looking cream 
and practice with it. I'm using a bigger piping tape for this one. And yeah, I went on with the design I had in mind, which was to put it on the sides of the cake. After you have done that, you're gonna let the clay dry for a day or two and uh, you're actually done. But I wanted to be extra so I tried to coat it with some UV resin so that the loom bands, the sprinkles and the bit would not fall off. And people usually use lighters to get rid of the bubbles but I was too scared to do that so I did not and I just went on to cure it under the UV light. And after your resin hardens, you are done. Here's the final product. Um, there's actually some air bubbles on it because of the UV resin but uh, I don't really mind it that much. I think it looks okay, it looks more handmade. <laughs> So I went on to make another one but I forgot to film this one and I used the, the air dry sauce that I showed at the start of the video and yeah here it is. I actually like this one a lot more than the other one, um, maybe because of the strawberry slices, I think it looks very pretty. So yeah, that's basically all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will like this. You can tag me if you do recreate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.